Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kristen and this is Kristen Budgets. Today's video I'm setting up my May budget and we're gonna jump right in. If you're new, hi. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. If you aren't subscribed, get subscribed, join the fam, um, post all budget related personal finance video content. So yeah. Um, okay, so we're diving in. First things first, I use an Erin Condren monthly planner. Um, I like this layout, this setup for it because I do use Sarah Marie's budget sticker kits um, for my budget. So um, this is the print I went with for the monthly. It's super cute, these little peaches. So I do the monthly view. And usually I'll match my budget kit washi to the same monthly view. So I've got my weekly check-in and then my budget. But we're going to start with setting up this monthly, come on stickers, um, Sarah Marie did. I've used her stickers for like three years now. Um, and she actually recently... Um, pre-released, pre, it's a, it's on pre-sale, but she created a budget planner for 2024 and I'm so excited about it. Um, that's crooked. It may drive me nuts cause I can see. Um, but yeah, she did a pre-sale and I picked it up for pre-sale. Oh, come on. Um, so moving forward for next year, I'm definitely going to be using that planner. I don't know if I'll pick up any stickers for it. She said she's creating stickers to go in it just for like decorative. I think I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, as of now I use her sticker kits in this monthly planner just because it's what works, but her planner is literally set up the same way that I set up this planner. So it only makes sense. I will miss the pretty cute stickers, but we'll see what she comes up with and creates for sticker wise. If I decide to buy any stickers, I'm also kind of like reevaluating my planning system. Is this going to be over? No. Cool my planning system to see if I really need like sticker kits even though they're just so cute and so pretty um and like my weekly planning but we're gonna see I'm playing around with some things okay so that is the monthly view how cute is that um and then next this page I do my bill tracker which I never set up for you with you guys it's just boring and I list out my bills and when they're due and how much um, and then I track my income with like my tips, my checks, all that stuff there. And then this page is going to be for my weekly check-in. So we're going to lay this down and then we will draw in some lines and get this going. So I cannot believe it's like May already. It's just super crazy we are flying through this year um also like not too bit too, not too many changes to my budget this month um i did increase a few maybe like two categories two or three just based on like how last month went which you'll see but other than that it's pretty straightforward and then I'm also going to be setting up my sinking funds okay so I I track five categories so I need five lines three four five um and then I usually just do the four weeks instead of five even though there are technically like five weeks this month because that last week goes until like Friday I don't even know. Let's see. When is the last? Yeah, see, so it stops in Wednesday. So that's, that's like a half of a week. Okay. 
And then we're gonna put this cute little washi down at the bottom. Just to add some more cuteness. That's crooked. Oh well, we're not gonna be crazy. Okay, where's my ruler? We'll draw in some lines and then I'll write in categories and then we'll get some numbers down for my budget. How are you guys doing with your budget so far this month? I mean, we're well into May by the time I'm finally sitting down to film this. I've already got my like my mock budget written out, so I know exactly where my money is going. It's just not in my official planner. So I track groceries, eating out, parking, gas for my car, and any personal spending. And so those are the five categories I come back and check in with every week. Okay, moving on to the budget. So for her stickers, she does have the expenses split up. You can do like one whole line item of expenses, like with these two stickers, or you can split them up between variable and fixed, which is what I do just because that's, I my brain functions like that. Um, so it, that works perfectly. And then also like my expenses won't fit on one page. I used to do the other way when I would have an eight by nine or eight by 11, but it just was too much. Okay, so I have three sources of income I like to keep track of. We're just gonna draw lines and then we're gonna put in the, the stuff. I don't really remember. I feel like I do this probably differently every month. There we go, it's a little better. I feel like this washi's like, ooh, ooh. Is it, was it cut like that? I don't know. Maybe it's just the design. It's throwing me off. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side, get some of this cleaned up. And then, I think I need I think I need 14 lines. Where's my sticker? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's put this down. Perfect. And then, yeah, like I said, I use the fixed expense. I was gonna redo my nails, you guys. And then I'm gonna do 11 on the fix one, two. I'm gonna do a ruler. Um, I was gonna redo my nails. How is that? Is that straight? Whatever. Um, but I like. This one finger has like got bent back and it hurts and I'm afraid to like put another extension on it so soon. So I think I'm just going to wait, maybe put some just regular gel on and then redo them when they're like closer to my birthday. Okay, so, oh, I forgot my, my budget sticker. I was like, why does that look so plain? Okay, cool. Worry. Okay, so my main source of income is from my restaurant. I get paid bi-weekly on the 5th and the 20th. And then I also get my take-home tips, which I get every shift. Um, I don't share my income, but yeah. And then I do online 
and other slash like bonus which this is like if if i sell anything on macari which i've been doing a lot because i'm trying to like declutter um if i have any kind of cash back from credit cards or like a rakuten anything like that or say like i make a return um i count that in other this is driving me crazy um is that's that online um i don't i have a coaching like business on the side it's very part-time i've got two girls that i work with and it brings in like minimal money it's something that i enjoy doing um but it doesn't bring in much money so that's for that um also like if i sell anything on etsy which is very like minimal if any um youtube i don't keep track of i have that in another account which i barely get paid on youtube i definitely appreciate you guys watching my videos and watching the ads because i do get a little bit but it's like literally not much and so i just put it into a separate account and that's what i use to buy my budget stickers i used it to buy my budget planner and then i also um bought i use it for like giveaways so i have um like a bucket for giveaways like if i ever do giveaways um other than that yeah it's not that much money and it's just sitting there and so like if i decide to do anything for like this channel that's what i'm going to use that money for um so yeah i decided to just keep that separate so i don't include that in the online okay so we're gonna get into the expenses and my first expense sorry guys i have to turn it sideways because that's the way i write so first off is rent and i budget 1200 my boyfriend and i do split rent and that is my portion groceries i budget 350 that's really what works for me and i'm usually coming under that which is great but i'm just going to keep it at that just in case i have you know an extra just have some cushion eating out i am doing a hundred gas i'm gonna do 200 i think i bumped this up from last month i think it was 160 and i put 200 because I am going to be going to visit family this month. Um, so I know I'll be spending a little bit money, more money on gas. Same with um, personal. I bumped it up a little bit. I think it was 50 last month. But because it's my birthday, I'm not going to like not buy the coffee because I don't, you know, I'm really worried about my mon money. Not worried, but like aware of my money. Um I'm gonna buy the coffee and enjoy myself this month. Parking, I definitely bumped this up. I'm really trying hard to stay below this. I think I went over 200 last month. Um, so yes, I'm actually trying to really hard to stay under 200 this month. Honestly, I'm doing really well. I think I only paid for parking once so far, and we're you know several days into it at this point. So clip oh my gosh clipper i'm doing 200 200 20 dollars oh never mind i'm doing 30 because i'm i guess i'm gonna try i i did my mock budget like before may even started so i'm kind of refreshing myself up during while i go through this okay so toll is 115 laundry i had mentioned this um and i'm gonna do 25 i mentioned this i think in a recent video how we got new laundry like washer and dryers in my apartment building and they have like a pay by phone type of situation and you like load money onto the app and so I think it's like 15, 25, and some other amount. Um, so every fifth, I'm just going to load 25. So I went to load 20 the other day, and um, 
there was only 15, 25, and I think another amount. So I was like, oh, I'll just do 25. So then that money will just kind of roll over into whatever the next month. So maybe next month it'll be 15. I don't know. It depends on like how much money I use this month, but it stays on the app. Um, so yeah, that's bumped up just a little bit. Electric, I budgeted 50. pg and &E, I budgeted 60. Supplements is 150 um sinking funds is a thousand and then unbudgeted we budget zero and then this brings us to a total of three thousand um five hundred and eighty okay so fixed and the first one is going to be my acorns account i do 50 every month and there's like a three dollar service charge my cell phone is 98 this is for my coach website and it's 15.95 and i'm gonna change this because it's just easy to write like this car loan is 329 guys we're almost under 10,000 I'm really excited 329.49 my apple memory is 999 uh dental is 12 my vision is 17 I'm trying to like see if I can combine all this with my health insurance next year. Um, health insurance is two forty eight ninety three. Um, next, I have my auto insurance, which this may be changing soon. I have to renew my policy, and I'm kind of shopping around. You guys will have to let me know who you guys have for auto insurance because I'm not too happy with farmers and that's who I have I don't know I'm just very disappointed I've had them for quite a while and I'm just lately I've been dealing with a lot with them and I'm just not ecstatic to be a farmer's insurance policy holder <laughs> okay so I did my life insurance is 273.57 and then my MAC payment is 167 so that brings us to a total of 1000 three hundred and sixty two dollars with 26 cents all right guys so that is budget weekly check-in and then i'm gonna set up my sinking funds so then i'm gonna use this washi so cute sinking funds and my transaction log and we'll be good to go and then these are the expense tracking stickers how cute to match the month all right moving on but yeah i'm so i'm on the market for some new insurance you guys will have to let me know who you guys have and if you love them because and i and i'm i'm very loyal like i i was with at&t for so long and then they did me dirty and I, so I switched to Verizon. I love Verizon. I've been with Verizon forever. I've had farmers literally forever, but they are just, they're not, they're not being very, they're, they're not just, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but they're just not being, um, they're not very reliable right now. And I haven't like gotten any kind of accent or anything like that, but it's just like trying to get a hold of people to talk about my renewal policy, policy renewal. It's like pulling teeth. And so I'm like, if you can't, if I can't get someone on the phone to chat about this, then I'm going to go somewhere else, someplace with better customer service, um, a better premium, hopefully. So, Yeah. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Okay, we're gonna just put this right there. Sinking funds, I love this washi, it's so cute. I did this for my monthly in my regular planner. 
and I think it's adorable. Okay, are you down? You're down. Okay, let's draw in some lines. Let's clean up this space. And then we'll write in our beginnings and we're all set and ready to put in some numbers when they happen. Uh-oh, something's going down. If you gotta hear those sirens. Oh, my washies are messed. Messed up. Um, okay. So, first off is Mr. Bentley. And his beginning. I don't write what I add. I do write, I follow a few other budgeters that do a setup like this, like Sarah Marie. She has exactly what she puts in here. Like, she knows every month. But because my income is so inconsistent I cash stuff what I can well, I'm gonna take a drink of my greens because I made this and I was like oh it's just sitting here staring at me um like being having inconsistent income I just can't tell exactly what I'm gonna put into these envelopes I just put what I can on a weekly basis after I pay my bills and other expenses so um okay so beauty has 30 starting car maintenance has 320 starting <laughs> something's going on out there i live in a very like chill area and so when i hear sirens i'm like oh my gosh hope everyone's okay okay clothes has 61 to start next is date night I feel like I should have probably went through and just put all my categories down and then how much is in them. Oh, well. Okay. Date night has 78. Fun is 75. Groomers has 60. Self-care is 35. Stickers is 21 starting out. I didn't add these up on my mock over here. My mock sheet. Car tags is starting with 20. Christmas. I hope y'all can see it. I keep forgetting to look in the camera. Christmas is starting with 320. Disneyland is starting with 70. David is starting with 195. I had someone in my last video, I need to reply to my comments, you guys. I've been, work has been crazy. So I'm like, oh God, I gotta reply to my comments. Um, someone asked who David was in my last video and that is my boyfriend of a very long time. We're basically married. I'm just waiting for my ring. <laughs> uh, Future baby, it has um, 180. Hair is empty and starting over. My holiday and gifts envelope has 170. My pet insurance has 15. Planners. <laughs> Um, has 40, tattoo, has 315, and then travel has 620. Also, my last um, cash stuffing, because I'm starting with 180, I've already done it my first May cash stuffing. When I counted it, I think I counted it to 200, even though I only added... 10 and you guys were like you it should be 190 and I'm like oh my god like I see the comments I'm like thank you guys so much sometimes when I'm counting I just get away from myself okay so let's add all this up and then we will call it good
27.25. Let's look. Hold on. I'm trying to see if that's what I ended with last month. Yes. Okay. So we are starting with 2,725 in my sinking funds. Cool. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I guess I'll draw in the lines real quick for here. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Uh, if you made it this far or have, you know, continued to support my channel, I truly appreciate it. Um, I love this budget community and it's such a, a creative outlet for me, even though I'm like not creating the stickers. It's just a fun way for me to see my numbers, budget, and, you know, tell my money where to go. It's a fun way to save money, sharing the journey. Um, it definitely holds me way more accountable. It's the main reason why I started this channel was to hold myself accountable to stick to a budget, to cash stuff weekly because I wasn't being consistent with my cash stuffing prior to starting this channel. Um, so definitely appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.